Good morning, everyone. You are welcome to Open Heavens Review for today, Thursday, the 6th of May, 2021. I'm Ken Demaja Dumi. Open Heavens is authored by Adadi in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for a new day and a new dawn. We say, Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that as we learn at your feet today, you will guide us in the way we should go. You will illuminate our lives in the name of Jesus and draw us closer to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, our topic is contact with the miraculous. Contact with the miraculous. A memory verse is taken from Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Our Bible reading is taken from the book of 1 Kings 17, 12 to 16. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah, and she and he and her household did eat many days. And the barren of meal wasted not, neither did the crows of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which is speak by Elijah. Hallelujah. In the message. Since creation, God has continually been working on his creatures to achieve his purpose. Rather than create other men, and women after Adam and Eve. Genesis 1.28 says, God empowered the first family to multiply. God will like to use what he has created to meet the subsequent needs of his creatures. In 1 Kings 17, God sent Elijah to the household of a widow who was preparing to eat a last meal, then die. There are few lessons from this incident. First, a house was available for God to use as a point of contact for our household and the prophet. Your house will be a point of contact for the miraculous in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. One way of making your house a point of contact for the miraculous is by surrendering it for use as a house fellowship center. Peter did the same when Jesus asked him to surrender his boat for a preaching engagement. Luke 5 verse 3. The boat later became a point of contact for the miraculous catch of multitude of fish. Secondly, God said, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. The widow obeyed God's commandment, despite the fact that it appeared difficult. This was why she became a point of contact for the miraculous. Thirdly, she gave up the last handful of meal and little oil she had, and they became a point of contact through which she got her miracle. She was a sincere woman of faith. She seemed to be saying to herself, like David did in Psalm 23 verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Even though I surrendered my last meal to him, she exposed her last meal to the wonder-working God to walk with him, and it became a point of contact. This was the exact thing the lad in John 6, 5 to 13 did, and a remnant of 12 baskets on the loaves he lent Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will feed you abundantly, even in times of famine, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, your first point of contact is your relationship with Jesus. How is it at the moment? He wants to have an intimate relationship with you in holiness. If you are still living in sin, accept Jesus as your Savior. If he, you are his child already, stay connected and you too 
we experience the miracles. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more, contact with the miracles. And as we have learned today, that when God wants to do his wonder work, his purpose, he uses his creatures to achieve them. He's not going to create another man because of what he wants to achieve. When God wants to multiply, what he did do, when he said he wanted man to be fruitful and multiply, he only empowered the first family so they could to achieve that. So he uses his creature to meet the subsequent of his creatures, like he did according to the what we read today, to meet Elijah's name need. He used his creature, that's the widow. And to meet the widow's need, he used Elijah. And that and that is exactly the contact that we are talking about. So it depends on what you contact that brings the miraculous in your life. Let's look at the story as uh, Daddy have told us and as we have read even in the Bible for today. And the woman, the first lesson that we learned from that story is the woman is she made a house available to God as a point of contact for herself as well as for the prophet. If she never had any relationship, if she was never talking to the prophet, there might never have been a miraculous. And if the prophet never spoke to her, to vice versa. Another lesson, let's look at also in the story of Peter with Jesus Christ. Peter surrendered the boat for preaching. And as a result of that, he contacted the miraculous and he catch multitude of fish. Jesus told him he wanted him to lend him his boat so he could preach and he, he gave it up. And we're likening it to the modern day of house fellowship. Can you release your house for house fellowship as a house fellowship center? It might not necessarily even be your house. Is there anything in your possession? That you can release for the use of God, the Lord, who has a, and if that can be a, a contact to the miraculous, just like we, we learned of Abraham. Abraham released his only son when God said, Give it up to me. And he gave him. And that was the beginning, that was a turning point in the life of Abraham. God said by himself, He swore by himself that in blessing, He will bless Abraham. And he did. Abraham was blessed and even we we are so named Abraham you see Abraham's blessings are us and Abraham is our father just because he was able to release what he had in his possession for God what do you have in your possession today that you need to release just like we learned yesterday that we should give sacrificially how that man gave his time unto God and he became a chunk contact for the miraculous and the Lord blessed him in return. We're told that what must have been going on in the woman's mind is that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And she surrendered everything she had. The second lesson we learned is that she, she obeyed the commandment of God. The widow obeyed God's commandment because God already told Elijah that I have commanded the widow woman to sustain thee. What is God commanding us to do? Are you obeying the word that the Lord has said? And according to the Lord told Elijah, the woman obeyed, even when it was difficult. Like we learned yesterday that David said he will not give God what will not cost him anything. Even when it appeared difficult, she obeyed God's commandment and she fed Elijah. And even as Elijah said, make the meal, he said he should give, her, give him first. And she did as he has commanded. And that became the point of contact for the miraculous in her life. Thirdly, she gave up the last handful meal and the little oil she had. The last, she was ready to surrender it. Just like Abraham surrendered the only son that he had. And we're told of, of the lad who gave up his own, his own fishing and loaves too. And that became a point of contact for the miraculous. And the remainder was 12 baskets full of loaves that he lent to Jesus. I'm sure even if he could not pick the whole 12 and take it home, he was going to be the first person that is okay, pack 
it is as many as you could pick after everybody had hit that will become his. If he now decides to leave others, he could give. But because he gave up, that job, he became a counter for the miraculous. We are told today that the first point of contact, even in, a, in this dispensation, is our relationship with Jesus. All these people we are talking about, they had the woman had relationship with Elijah, the boy had relationship with Jesus Christ. If he was not at that meeting, what is your relationship with God? The, the Lord wants us to relate with Him in holiness. The Bible says He cannot behold iniquities. And I pray that if there is anyone who is still living in sin, who has still, who still has the lifestyle of sin, the Lord will touch you, and it is time also for you to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. So that you can experience the miraculous. And if you are already in faith, it is time to stay connected so that we can experience the miraculous. I pray that as we as we continue in our relationship with God, that indeed we will experience miracle working wonders in Jesus' name. And as many that are yet to give their life to Christ, I pray that as you surrender your life to Christ, you accept him as your Lord and your personal Savior, continue to experience, you shall experience the miraculous in Jesus' name. Amen. The action point, determined to learn to God by giving sacrificially to his work this year, you will experience God's glory in its fullness in Jesus' name. Amen.